Ted at Bundy actually gave me a release of the attorney-client privilege in writing, um, because if I talked about him, even though he's dead, there, some people may think it's a violation of the privilege, but he gave me a, a, a waiver, which was interesting. But, um, you know, representing Ted, I mean, I think the important thing that the public needs to learn from this show is that we won't have a free society if there are not people like us. Mm -hmm. um, and you talk about um, people being threatened. I mean, when I represented Ted, I get threats in the mail, because we had mail then. Um, and I only worried about them when they started spelling things right. Um, exactly. But when I was in Afghanistan four years ago representing Sergeant Bales, I actually got threatened by the Taliban. And they threatened me, and they threatened my family. And they basically said, you know, if you represent the devil, you are the devil. Uh, so there are people, even in our society, that feel that way. Uh, and so, you know, this job is not only hard from the standpoint of the tasks in front of us, and I agree completely, one of the, hard, the hardest one, emotionally, I think, is when you have a client that you know is innocent, because getting a fair trial for somebody who's innocent is not easy. And so uh, it, it, it's, it really drains you. I mean, this is a very difficult job. I go to law schools and talk students out of doing this job. And as I, I told the New York Times, it's my fucking path. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't do it. Um, but Ted was a challenge, to say the least. I mean, because he would change his personalities. He wasn't mentally ill. He was a sociopath, which is more dangerous. But he was, personalities would change. So I, I'd have to figure out how, when I went to see him one day, wh which Ted was he going to be? And I did get him to sign a plea agreement. You know, I got him to sign, I got a plea bargain for Ted Bundy. Nobody believed that was possible, but I did for four states and to save his life. And we were going to do it. We walked into court and as we were walking to court, he said, I'm not going to do it. And uh, so he was self destructive to that extent. But I think he enjoyed the game more than he was. Yeah, he probably should have taken that deal. I'm, ju I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>